Hello everyone, Flaming Shark. I'm gonna be in the middle of the camera here because you will not be seeing any videos. Uh, because, uh, at least I don't think so, because, um, we're reacting to the Ruby Volume 3 soundtrack by Jeff and Casey Lee Williams. Or, it's technically by Jeff Williams, featuring Casey Lee Williams. Um, so yeah, I am going to be reacting to this. I just downloaded the, well, bought and downloaded the Ruby Volume 3 soundtrack. Uh, if you want the soundtrack... It is $9.99 on iTunes. I will have a link down below, hopefully, probably, maybe, in the description. But if I don't, which I should, you just, just go on iTunes and look up Ruby soundtrack, and it should have the Volume 1, Volume 2, and Volume 3 soundtracks, which are all available for purchase. Um, yeah, but the Volume 3 soundtrack, it's $9.99, and then individual songs are $1.29 each. Um, I recommend buying the whole soundtrack. It's, you know, a nice way to support the musicians, Jeff and Casey Lee, as well as the show in general. And you not only get the, I believe it's ten songs that I will be reacting to, because they're the actual songs, but it also, you have kind of like the, some, like, just soundtrack stuff. I don't know if these are, like, songs or what. I believe they're just soundtracks from different episodes. Um... At least when there were, like, musical scores. So I believe it's the scores as well as the... Yeah, these seem to be scores. Because, yeah, the sun... Yeah, okay. So, that's cool. But you're also getting the songs. So this should be really interesting. I'm actually really interested to hear these songs. So we will be reacting solely to the actual lyrical songs. Um, Ruby songs have a lot of foreshadowing and hinting. These were for Volume 3. I'm personally looking forward to three songs, which are 7, 8, and 1. When It Falls, Divide, and Cold. Um, Divide is by Casey... Uh, or, sorry, Divide and Cold were the outro themes after the uh, during the end credits for the volume during Chapter 12. I'm interested in those. I'm also interested in When It Falls, which is the actual opening theme for Ruby Volume 3 itself. But this will be the full theme, because like I said to many people throughout the season, the full theme is going to be a lot longer and have a lot of lyrics that are left out, which is why I wasn't going to judge the Volume 3 theme against the Volume 2 and Volume 1 themes, because those songs get better with their full song. And I'm not going to compare those full songs of the Volume 1 and Volume 2 themes, which are, of course, this will be the day and time to say goodbye, Unless I'm comparing it to the full When It Falls. And that's what we're about to do right now. So this is just going to be a listen. Um, but it should be interesting nonetheless. So anyways. The Ruby Volume 3 uh, opening theme. Also the first song on the, um, on the playlist. Which is titled When It Falls. Will commence in 3, 2, 1. And play. Oops, nope, didn't go. Sorry, I pressed the wrong button. What a fail. Sorry, it will commence in 3, 2, 1, and play. Now, we've all heard this, so it does have the same opening. I was hoping it had a longer... So we've heard all this. The innocents will lay in when the end you fail to save them. I'm actually going to turn this up for myself, and probably for you guys, too. So yeah, I'm going to be pretty silent for most of these reactions, but uh, this is a little bit of a different type of reaction anyways. And I'm talking over this part because we've all heard the intro. If you haven't heard the intro, why are you watching a reaction to the soundtrack? Who will rise above? You guys can watch my reaction to the Ruby Volume 3 opening animation if you want to see my thoughts on the song, on this part of the song. And the intro as well. For all... Alright, here we go! It falls... Okay, I'm so hyped! Let's see what we got! Alright, come on. Here we go! This is new!
Yep. Eight. Fate. I was expecting hate for sure there is the lyric, but no, it was fate. Wow. Okay, those lyrics were dark as fuck as expected. And this guitar is just ooh. Woo! This is fun. You guys have no idea how long I was waiting for this. Oh! And mankind will wilt in pain. There'll be no Jesus Christ. You know, I know it sounds weird, but uh, I know she's just a singer and not a voice actress, but uh, Casey Lee Williams would. Something about her voice, because I've heard her sing all these songs. I would love for her to be like Cinder or Salem, even though Jessica has grown on me, and, you know, what can we say about Jen Taylor? Obviously, she's Jen fucking Taylor, but it would be cool if she voiced the villain in all seriousness. So that was When It Falls. Holy shit. All right, here's I'm the one. We're just going to go right through them all in a row, I guess. No, I'm just kidding. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, stupid freaking, uh, uh, um, yeah, my thing just wanted to just go from one to the next. So I heard the first ten seconds of I'm the one, but there were no, um, what's it called? There were no, uh, lyrics yet. Anyways, that was when it falls. Now, I don't know if I want to split these up into individual videos or if I want to make one large video out of it. Probably the latter. It's a lot easier for me to post this all as one big redirect video, which is what I'll probably do. That was really enjoyable. When it falls was really awesome. I really enjoyed it. I think it was really interesting to hear when it falls because um, my thing about when it falls is... We didn't know the full lyrics, obviously, but this is a song that we heard the most because it was the intro theme. We heard it every time we watched the episode unless we skipped it, and uh, which I don't believe I ever did. Anyways, uh, it was really interesting to kind of be like, okay, what else is there? And it was very dark, and it was very not subtle at all, which is good because it's the part that we don't get to hear until after the volume, so it doesn't need to be subtle. But it also implies more of what's going to happen, even though for the most part, it more or less depicts the events of Volume 3, as did the other parts of the song. I mean, just a lot of people just didn't believe it would get that dark, even though I said from the beginning, that's what's going to happen. Oh, you silly goobers. Um, but anyways, that was really good. I'm really interested to see... Uh, seriously, like, when she said the Cinder quote, which obviously now it makes sense that Cinder was quoting the song... Eh? Um, about how it's not a tragedy, it's not an accident. That was really cool. Um, but it kind of made me wish, like, again, I, I've really grown to like Jessica N Nigiri as Cinder. But it kind of makes me wish Casey Lee Williams was Cinder. Because her voice, despite the fact that she's very young and has been, has always sounded very mature. Um, her singing voice, anyway. So I, it would be interesting to hear her as a villain. I couldn't imagine her as a hero with how many villainous songs she's sung in this series. I mean, obviously she's sung, you know, good, you know, heroic songs as well, but I don't know. I don't picture her voice in that light. So it, it's just a little food for thought. Not like, you know, obviously something. I'm sure she's not that good of a voice actress because she's not a voice actress at all, but it would be interesting to hear. So, uh, yeah. There'd be a lot of it would it would give those songs a little too much meaning though. These songs already have too much implications as it is. So we're gonna listen to I'm the one. Um I don't really have much else to say about when it falls. I said a lot about when it falls during the opening animation of Volume 3 reaction and just throughout the season, actually, every time I heard it. So I will just kind of leave that one be. Let's hear I'm the one. Jeff Williams feet Casey Lee Williams, as are almost all of these. <laughs> we'll commence in three, two, one, and play. Doo -doo 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 -doo. 
This is the song from, I know what this is from, the Koko Yatsuhashi versus Emerald Mercury fight. We've heard this part. Retaliation moves. Yeah, okay. But it was, uh, I got retaliation as a sync point. I do to remember that part. Ooh. Man, this song's so fast-paced. This is such an Emerald Mercury song, even though it starts off like it sounds like it's a Koko Yatsuhashi song. That's what's funny about this. Definitely an Emerald Mercury song. Yeah. Absolutely an Emerald Mercury song. Wow. Wow, that wasn't even subtle. Wow. Jesus Christ. Wow. Like, this is, wants me. I, man, this is a. <laughs> nice. These lyrics, though. Crazy. This is such a good Emerald Mercury song. I love it. Oh! Mm. Oh, yeah. Woo! What? I'm the. Oh. Oh, it is I'm the one. Like, there, too, but it sounds a little weird, the I. What? Wow! Wow! We'll conquer your mind and we'll make you. F no, 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 no. That one started immediately with lyrics. Damn. I mean, I only heard one second and it was like, when? And it sounded kind of nice. Okay, that was I'm the one. Holy shit, that was I'm the one. Like, whoa! <laughs> I honestly going into this was not even that was not even on my radar and I remember after I think at the end of that episode chapter four of volume three I was like I want to hear the full song of this <laughs> I got it I finally got it holy shit that gave me chills too so we got a when it falls song which is pretty much a cinder song and then we get I'm the one which is pretty much an emerald and mercury song how about that get all the villains up in here mm. Shit, that was a pretty crazy song. Like, no lie, that was pretty fucking insanity. Pretty fucking insanity, because that makes sense. Pretty fucking insane is what I meant to say. Whew. So, yeah, um, I'm going to just jump right into, uh, what do we have? It's my turn. Huh. I do not remember an It's My Turn in the Ruby Volume 3 soundtrack, unless this was an unused theme. Uh, obviously, I'm the one was used in 
the Emerald and Mercury versus Coco and Yatsuhashi fight because the song just absolutely screams Emerald and Mercury. Holy crap, does it scream Emerald and Mercury. Um, it's My Turn does not sound familiar, like I said. But uh, yeah, it's My Turn. Jeff Williams feet Casey Lee Williams. This one is 4 minutes and 27 seconds, so it's actually longer than the first two. It's the second longest one here, and I don't know if I'm actually going to react to... Well, we'll see, actually. I'm definitely reacting to the first eight on this soundtrack. I don't know if I'll react to the final two. I probably won't, actually. This will probably just be the eight main songs. Because the ninth song on here is the Time to Say Goodbye acoustic version with Jeff Williams feet Casey Lee Williams. And the tenth one is It's My Turn, the James Landino remix, Jeff Williams feet Casey Lee Williams. Um, I probably won't react to those. I think I'm just going to react to the first eight because these are the ones I'm actually interested in reacting to. Now, the rest of the soundtrack I want to listen to, but I don't think I want to react to them because there's nothing that really will surprise me, especially because the 10th one is a remix of, a, of the, the third one that I'm about to listen to right now. But seriously, I'm the One was just a great uh, kind of, I don't want to say theme song, but kind of a great like Emerald and Mercury song, so to speak, which is really cool. Uh, I love how it sounds so much like a Coco song, kind of like Caffeine. And then after a little while of listening, you're like, oh, this song isn't for the good guys. <laughs> so that's pretty cool. So, because uh, the fight was Coco and Yatahashi against Emerald and Mercury. Um, anyways, this is the third song. It's called it My It's My Turn. And I do not remember an It's My Turn in the soundtrack at all. So I'm assuming this is an unused theme, which means my reactions will be completely blind to this one. Which, uh is appreciated and makes me curious, like, what's up with this song? So, uh, It's My Time, Jeff Williams feat Casey Williams from the Ruby Volume 3 original soundtrack and score will commence at 3, 2, 1, and play. When I was young, Ooh. If I just close my eyes and I could go anywhere. This sounds a little familiar. Ooh. Imagination set the pace and my heart was happy then. Wow, Casey. What a shame that you came round and told me. I heard this before. Or not this, but something like it. This is from the soundtrack. Foolish, give up your wish. Big things aren't for you. I've definitely not heard this, but it... Man, Casey, you're amazing. One. Oh! Uh, Funky versus uh, Ruby. Uh, Team Ruby versus Team Funky. my turn, but I can't judge it. Oh. Wow. Ooh. Yeah, this is from episode one. This is um, Team Auburn versus Team Ruby. I finally remembered. <laughs>
say it is. Really don't. This is a really good song, but I don't... This isn't so much one that I can talk about the lyrics and how they are foreboding to either Volume 4 or would have been foreboding to Volume 3 or anything like that. This is just a really good song that was a nice opening kind of like soundtrack song thing for the first episode's fight scene. Yo, I like it. It's really interesting. Dang it, almost. Dang it, I missed it. One. All right, that should. Oh nope, I don't want to. No, 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 stop, stop, dang it! Freaking iTunes just loves me. All right, so that was. Uh, it's my turn, and it was a really good. I really enjoyed that. It was really good. So yeah, that was pretty awesome. Anyways, uh, wow. I don't have much to say about that one in particular because it was just a really good song, and I kind of just got caught up in listening to the song because. Reactions are a little weird to a song, particularly, like, without visuals or anything, because it's like I literally have to listen by not talking, but yet it's not a reaction or commentary, for that matter, if I'm not talking, so it's weird. But, uh, yeah, that was a really good song. I, I'm sure you guys agree with me. Um, so far, all three of these are worth the download. Um, and that's the thing. If you're going to be playing individual downloads, it's like 129, and then 348, and then what? Five... 67 at that point i mean you're getting close to the ten dollar mark you're already ha over halfway through the ten dollar mark and there's a bunch of more of vocal songs and then there's a, a, a whole a whole bunch of the score the entire score of the volume and it's all 9.99 so like i said i highly recommend to just buy the entire entire soundtrack 10 bucks and you're supporting the artists and you're, um, you're, uh, doing your thing, and you, you get, you know, eight to ten songs, depending on how you look at it, as well as a bunch of soundtracks. Pretty cool stuff. Um, all right, the next song is called Neon. Now, this one is gonna be the Ruby versus Funky song, because, um, well, Neon, because of Neon Cat. Not Neon Cat, Neon Cat. Again... Watch Ruby. You know, if you don't watch Ruby, you should not be watching this video. It just doesn't make sense. Yeah. Anyways, um, this is Neon. Uh, Jeff Williams feet Casey Lee Williams as per... Oh, sorry. No, no, no. I'm wrong. Not Fall in Love With You is next. I'm derping. I j just realized I have not listened to this. Interestingly enough, this song is by Jeff Williams, and it is not Feet Casey Lee Williams, the only one. So I'm assuming Jeff actually sings this one. Interesting. Um, hmm. I'm actually really curious all of a sudden. Huh. Not Fall in Love With You. That's a weird title. It's like, I won't, it's not, I won't fall in love with you, or not to fall in love with you, or anything. It's just not fall in love with you. It sounds kind of weird, actually, but... I don't know, maybe this will be about the John Pierre stuff, but I, again, I don't remember this song. Um, Neon, yes. Mir like, I I know where the other four songs are from that are on the list of stuff I'm going to react, of the songs I'm going to react to, but I have no idea where Not Fall In Love With You is from, so I'm going to assume this was an unused theme, because unless all eight of these were used in the, in the, in the show, this would be the only unused theme. So, let's find out. Not Fall In Love With You... 
uh, Jeff Williams of the Ruby Volume 3 uh, original soundtrack and score will commence in 3, 2, 1, and play. Wow, it started like ahead of me by like a second. That was really weird. 3, 2, 1, and play. This is a weird sound. Interesting. Okay. Don't know where this is going. Sounds out of place with the Ruby soundtrack, but I'm game. I mean, Boop sounds out of place, but it's still awesome. Response to Boo, sort of, but like his own. And then, like, because I know they've been. The, the soundtrack is basically confirmed that. Oh, man! Now I don't know if this is about Gary, because now I'm starting to think this is Ren singing, or supposed to be Ren, the same way Boop is supposed to be Nora. My favorite ship in the entire series, by the way, for those of you who don't know. I know a lot of you probably don't know that about me. My favorite ship is actually Renora. As much as I love Bumblebee and, you know. I think I got the U, even though it kind of went into a guitar right there. This is a really cute song. I really love it. This one I talked over a lot, though, so again, if you want to actually listen to these songs, again, buy and download the soundtrack. I'm not someone to buy merchandise for shows I like, so I, I try to support them in other ways like this. Even though this is more supporting the, the musicians. Wow. With you? No, there was no with you there. Okay, three, two, one, done. Oh, yeah. Jesus Christ. It immediately jumps in with no hesitation and immediately jumps into the next song. Okay, so that was uh, Not Fall In Love With You by Jeff Williams, and it was really good. And the biggest thing for me was, was that supposed to be Ren singing? Because originally I was thinking, oh, this is a Pyrrha song, and then I was like, it's a Pyrrha song, why wouldn't Casey Lee just be singing? And then I thought, oh, Jean, but then I was like, no, this doesn't fit Jean, because Jean didn't figure out his feelings for Pyrrha until you know what episode. Anyways, um... But I was like, and then I thought about Boop, I was like, wait a minute, it's a guy singing. There's only like, of the eight main characters, there's only two guys, and the other guys ran. 
Ren, and Nora. Uh, I mean, the show is going to eventually touch on that. We'll have to see how long we have to wait. Um, unlike a lot of, unlike pretty much all the other ships, which are just, you know, fan ships that could possibly happen, but, you know, more than likely won't. Ren Nora is the one that actually will most likely happen, especially since the soundtrack has heavily, heavily implied it. If you've ever not, if you've not listened to the Volume 2 soundtrack, go and listen to it, and go listen to Boop. One, it's a really cute song. Two, it basically con-fucking-firms that Renora will will happen at some point. So that was really cool. Um, I really liked that song. It was cute. Probably my least favorite of the four, even though it was still really good. Uh, still would recommend it. Still really good stuff. I mean, I, I am in love with Casey Lee Williams and her voice, so that might be something to do with it, because even though Jeff is an amazing singer, too, if that's... I'm pretty sure that's, uh, I would assume it's Jeff, yeah, because there's no feet on there. Regardless, um, this one is Neon, which is, again, Jeff Williams feet Casey Lee Williams, as are the remaining few songs I will be reacting to. Honestly, I am super interested for the last three. I'm not that interested for this one. This is the, the Funky versus Ruby song. Um, so I believe it's, and obviously from the name, it's obviously basically like Team Funky's song, or at least Neon cat song. I don't know if it really implies to the whole team, but we will have to see. We will have to see. All right. So, uh, Neon, Jeff Williams feat Casey Lee Williams from the Ruby Volume 3 original soundtrack and score. We'll commence in 3, 2, 1, and play. Awesome. Do, do, do. No. Do. This song's pretty fast paced. With a dream. Yes, I got an easy sick point on that one. <laughs> oh, bird. Wow! <laughs> cool like the rain and I'm cool like the rain I'm cool like the rain off it. What? This song is so neon cat, it's ridiculous. The fuck? You can see I never miss a beat. Never miss a beat. Nice reference there. Just try to understand this. Nothing I am trying to outshine. You've got no rid of beauty. We can all be different. I don't know why that gets me every time. Hot like the sun. Jesus, that's so silly. So good though. This is a really good song. Really silly though, it's not... <laughs> I'm hot like the sun. <laughs> Ooh, man, that is a savage song. Savage burns all day, every day. Ugh. Oh wow, I called that perfectly just based on that. All right, uh, two, one, one, zero. All right, next up is the big three 
well, three of the four I was really hyped to react to. When It Falls opened it up, which is nice, one of the four. The other three I was really excited is Mirror Mirror Part 2. You guys know how I felt when I heard the, the, the little bit of Mirror Mirror Part 2 we got in uh, Volume 3, Chapter 4. And then we have Divide and Cold. I know those are the two outro themes for the ending credits of Volume 3. I, like, might have heard a little bit. It might come back to me during the the actual reaction, but I'm pretty blind. I don't remember any of it because I was really just talking about all the crazy shit that happened in the Volume 3 finale, and I wasn't focusing on the songs. Also, to save those that focus for these blind reactions to the soundtrack. So, uh, we will be doing Mirror Mirror Part 2, Jeff Williams feet Casey Lee Williams, Man, I have actually not heard Mirror Mirror in a long time, but I've... In Mirror Mirror Part 2, I mean, sorry, Mirror Mirror Part 1 needed more lyrics. It was a little too bland on the lyrics, but it was still a great song. I still love it. Mm. And I love that. I, I think that's probably the most over under underrated of the four Ruby trailers is the white trailer. I think everyone's favorite is either the red, black, or yellow. White is really underrated. I really love the white trailer. I love all of them, but you get the point. Anyways... Uh, Mirror Mirror Part 2, Jeff Williams feat Casey Lee Williams from the Ruby Volume 3 original soundtrack and score will commence in 3, 2, 1, and play. Ooh. Ooh, that piano and Oh, yeah, I recognize that pano. Sort of, yeah, I could see that twice. into fame and fortune. My comfort's all guaranteed. It is true. So what's the problem? Whoa. I got that. Keeping me from moving forward. It's hard to see. see. Man, I got that too. I've heard that part. Mirror, Mirror. I'll tell. Dang it, no, I'm right. That was from the original. Never mind. Can I stop my oh, wow. Holy shit. I have so much. I am. Years of scorn will leave you cold. I'm cold right now. Chill. that Some believe in fairy stories, 
stories and the ghosts that they can't see. That's the only, yeah, I know that part. Mirror, I'll tell you something. I think I might change it all. Holy shit. What the actual fuck? Guys, what the fuck? No one hyped up Mirror Mirror Part 2. I had a couple of messages, okay? And it was like, um, oh, I saw something about, oh, like the, the full OP is out. And then I saw something about, and like it's, it's, it's even darker than expected. And I saw something about how I'm the one is really, really good. And I saw like, and I saw, and that was like what I was saying. Like I hype for I'm the one and hype for when it falls. Mainly I'm the one. Like I was actually hyped up, so... A little bit from what I, from the little bits I saw. But Mirror Mirror Part 2 got no hype. Like coming in, that was like one of the things I really wanted to hear. This got no hype. How? This literally made me like Weiss more. A song in the soundtrack made me like Weiss more. I think the only other song in the entire Ruby soundtrack that made me actually like a character more is Red Like Roses Part 2 in regards to Ruby. And her late mom. Even though that can actually be interpreted in other ways, considering how Volume 3 went. But, I mean, the obvious interpretation, especially back then when it was actually made, is, you know, Ruby and her mom. But that song made me like Ruby more. And that's the only song I can say that was so good to a specific character. Because this was a Weiss song, 100%. A Weiss song. And it makes me like Weiss more. Not saying I don't love Weiss. I like Weiss. I think a lot of people over hate some of the finer details of her character that actually make her character deep. Even though, you know, a lot of people mistake some of her character traits as shallow when in actual reality it's the multiple dimensions, the multiple layers of her character. She's probably the most well layered character in the series, other than maybe Ruby. There's debate there. I would argue Weiss over Ruby in terms of the most multiple dimensional character, but they haven't explored some of the multiple dimensions of the Ruby that are implied fairly subtly in the series, so it's hard. But as a current moment, I would say Weiss. It's hard to judge Ruby in some of those regards. But that is kind of a... Um... Dang it. Yeah, Divide just started starting. So, uh, but yeah, I was setting it up because I actually stopped the other song with like a second left and I need to reset to the new one. But man, Mirror Mirror Part 2 was amazing. Like that, like that is crazy. A song that actually made me like a character more. Like, whoa. <laughs> um, songs aren't supposed to be able to do that at all. Like, seriously? Like, I mean, that's like some fucking let it go shit. Like, what the fuck? Like, that, when a song actually makes you like a character more, that's a good song. Holy shit. And I know I'm about to get, like, 80 comments about how overrated Let It Go is and how overrated Frozen is, when in all actuality, people just say that to be cool for the most part. I mean, some people actually mean it, but a lot of people just think, oh, it's cool to, like, hate on how Frozen was too popular and overrated, even though it really is one of the best Disney movies of all time. And I will defend Frozen to the ends of the fucking earth. Because I love that movie. Anyways... Speaking of Frozen, Cold's the last song on this list. <laughs> Anyways, Divide. Uh, this is, I believe, a Salem song. I'm not sure. Uh, obviously, Jeff Williams, feet Casey Lee Williams, as per usual. Um, but this is the song, the first song. Two different songs played during the outro, because the outro, the end credit sequence for Volume 3 was crazy long. The first song was Divide. Um... The Volume 2 end credits song, Sacrifice, is incredible. One of my favorite songs in the entire Volume 2 soundtrack is Sacrifice, and the implications it gives to the series. And it still gives crazy implications to the series even now. And while that entire time, I mean, 100% may it seem like Cinder, now there's arguments to say that possibly refers to Ozpin. 
Um, or even Salem. I mean, I don't know. There, man, the Volume Two soundtrack has so much more meaning now than it used to. Oh my God, it's crazy. And even and then it's just more interpretation of how you want to interpret it. But I, I believe this is supposed to be a Salem song, and I believe pretty much everyone's in unison on that. Um, regardless, this. Uh, but yeah, like I said, Sacrifice is a great song that's supposed to be a Cinder song, even though it might not be. I don't know. Uh, it should be though. It most likely is. Um, but yeah, that's another great song for the Ruby Volume Two soundtrack that you should listen to because you should listen to the entire Volume One and Volume Two soundtrack. And the Volume 3 soundtrack, because it's two songs to go, and it's been really good. Now, I don't know if these had the full songs released for them during the outro, so these might not be new to you guys. They might be, I don't know. But uh, if they were not, at least you'll get my reaction to them. So this is Divide, Jeff Williams feat Casey Lee Williams. I'm excited. I remember this song being a bit fast-paced uh, from the very, very little that I vaguely remember from the Volume 3 finale reaction but and, like, editing or whatever, but I'll have to see for myself. I'm not really sure. Let's find out. So, Divide, Jeff Williams feat Casey Lee Williams off the Ruby Volume 3 sound, original soundtrack and score will commence in 3, 2, 1, and play. That's pretty nice. Ooh, I like that. Nice. Does it feel good knowing you tried, knowing that all that remains? Ooh. Ooh. Whoa. Okay, this shit's intense. Fail. Yes, I called it. I wouldn't have guessed that. Ooh. Ooh. Divine, of course. Ooh. Yeah, this is definitely a Salem song. Holy shit, I got chills again. Not Mirror Mirror Part 2 chills, but chills nonetheless. Alright. Oh, tone change. I already know what the last word's gonna be. Fall. It's so obvious because fall is a favorite word of the Ruby soundtrack, and Ruby in general loves the word fall. <laughs> oh! Oh! some rips in Ospit. Holy shit. Sacrifice. No way! That's like a continuing. What? Okay, here's the big chills. Fairy tale. Oh my god. What? What? Of course. Yep. They kind of already are a little bit. Oh my god. I 
And of course, we gotta have Ozpin burning. Holy shit. I'm blown a fuck away by that. Whoa, Divide was sick. Worth the fucking wait. Oh my god. Well, I'm listening to that one 80 times. Oh my god, that was amazing. Divide is incredible. Holy shit, that song was dark. And that was definitely Salem talking to Ozpin. I don't even need to theorize on that. Like, that was definitely Salem ripping into Ozpin for all the lives that he's gonna send to the... All the people he's gonna send to their graves and all that shit. Holy fuck, there was so much in that that was substantial to the series. And again, because it was an outro theme, similarly to The Roots of Sacrifice in Volume 2, it has implications on future events. A lot of these were implications of Volume 3, so they're not too relevant anymore. But the, this song has implications of future events, and it just sounds like more sh more shit going, hitting the fan. Like, it's just... Regardless, this song was incredible. Oh my god, I love it so much. Guys, we only have one song left that I actually plan to react to, and it is Cold. Jeff Williams feat Casey Lee Williams. Um, this was the second song in the outro, and if I remember correctly, it wasn't fast-paced. It was, like, slow-paced. I don't remember, though. I, like, vaguely remember this stuff, but, like, I didn't remember, like, any of Divide. I thought I would, like, remember some lyrics. I just guessed, like, the freaking a lyric or two, and I was... Right, because some lyrics are pretty predictable if you get the if you get the feel for the timing and you have a feel for the how the singers and how these songs are orchestrated in general. But uh for the most part though, like seriously, I didn't remember any of that. Like I would remember that. Like I I, I must have really been tuning it out because I don't remember any of that. Oh my god, freaking cold. I suddenly heard a freaking song playing out of my fucking headphones and I was like, Oh my god, cold started by itself. Stupid cold. Well, at least I didn't have my headphones on. Well, if I had my headphones on, I would have been able to realize it and stop it. Well, either way, hopefully you guys couldn't hear that. But, uh, <laughs> anyways, I'm going to react to cold. This is the final Ruby Volume 3 soundtrack reaction I'm going to do. And, uh, yeah, I don't know what to expect. Cold doesn't really help. Uh, I don't know anything about this song. I don't even know what, like, people were saying about this song. So, anyways, cold, Jeff Williams feet Casey Theory. Casey 3, Casey Lee Williams, Cold, Jeff Williams, Feet, Casey Lee Williams, from the Ruby Volume 3 original soundtrack and score. We'll commence in 3, 2, 1, and play. We got a beautiful piano melody already. I never felt oh. that it was wise to wish too much Okay To dream too big Would only lead To being crushed Okay Then I met you You weren't afraid Of anything Okay I got chills You taught me how To leave the ground To use my wings Oh no, is this John Saint Pura. Oh God, I think I'm right. Oh God. But more than that, I never thought you'd be taken away. Oh! Oh, there go the tears. I almost made it. I mean, this could also go to Ruby and her mom, but it's obviously John and Pyrrha. Because winter came at the end of the vlog. Wow. And this doubles for Monty! Oh my god, this- Goodbye. That was a predictably beautiful lyric. Greater dream can be achieved. 
Wow. Yeah, this is Sean DePira, and it's the crew to Bonnie. If we beginning of the time to say goodbye acoustic and now I want to listen to it fuck oh man do I have to Jesus especially after cold I don't know if I can handle it but I heard that, like there's a point where it tips and it sounded so beautiful damn it like no this soundtrack I swear like oh I wanted that to be the end oh man that was such a beautiful ending oh my god and now the thanks Thank you, Monty, or the with the Monty signature, the little tribute that I remember at the end of the credits is even more beautiful because it came at the end of that song that I wasn't listening to for this express purpose. Wow. Holy shit, that was beautiful. Well, I don't know how to beat that, but uh, I don't think we will beat that. But, no, I don't want it yet. Yeah, wait for it and then put it at zero. Okay. So I, uh, okay, so I know, obviously, Time to Say Goodbye is the Ruby Volume 2 intro, and there's an acoustic version of Jeff Williams' Feet, Casey Lee Williams, from the Ruby Volume 3 original soundtrack and score. I will get to that in a second, but I do want to talk about how Cold was not only a Monty tribute song, but also, clearly, at least in my opinion, John speaking to Pira. It just makes so much sense. Um, you know, just thinking of John, you know, obviously, yes, I know it's a female, I know it's Casey, not Jeff singing, but still... Jean, it just fits the bill so much, especially considering what happened in Volume 3. And it just... I don't know what part of it is more sad. I mean, I would say probably the crew to Monty, but even John DePira, it's really sad. Like, wow, it's just a really sad song all around. But it's so beautiful. I mean, that might have been my favorite song. Wow. When It Falls is not, it didn't end up... Uh, I'm leaning towards Mirror Mirror Part 2. I don't think Divide or Cold beat it. I'm the one was great, but I'd say it's probably fourth or fifth. I, I, I don't think. I think the top three is the six, seven, and eight songs. I'm kind of looking at Divide at number three, maybe number two, but I'm thinking Cold is number two and Mirror Mirror Part 2 I think is just barely holding on to number one. This acoustic version of Time to Say Goodbye should be interesting. I don't think I'm going to listen to the James Landino remix of It's My Turn, but I wasn't going to listen to this either, and then I heard, like, three seconds of it accidentally, and now I have to listen to it. So, who knows? And this video will go over an hour now, so wonderful. Time to say goodbye, the acoustic version. Jeff Williams feet Casey Lee Williams from the Ruby Volume 3 original soundtrack and score. will commence in 3, 2, 1, and... Play. There's a point where it tips, there's a point, point where, where it breaks. breaks, there's a point where it bends, and a point where you just can't take any more. Casey Lee Williams, will you marry me? There's a line that will cross and show it's out. There's a time and a place, no bridges left to burn.
This music's so beautiful, I could touch myself to it. Now it's time to say goodbye to the things we loved and the innocence of youth. Oh my the time seemed to fly. I would love this to be the final intro theme of the final season of Ruby. I know it never will be, but... but this is most people's favorite intro. Most people go 2, 1, 3. Some people go 1, 2, 3. But, oh my god, like this would actually be perfect, because if it gets super crazy by that time, I mean, the lyrics would still fit, and it'd be pretty crazy. Like, I could see it, legitimately. Or like... Wow. I'm so glad I've decided to react to this because this is day when we'll fight and we're not gonna fall. There's a day when we'll stand in a day and when we, we won't, won't crawl, crawl anymore. There's a moment in time where there's no going back when we're pushed too hard and, and we, we won't, won't hold our attack. attack. My ears hurt. Now it's time to say goodbye to the things we loved and the innocence of you. part I'm just blown away Holy shit! Uh, I I'm officially in love with Casey Lee Williams. If there was ever any doubt, it's gone. Because I'm in love with Casey Lee Williams! Wow. Wow, are we gonna get one? It's time to say goodbye one last time. Now it's time to say goodbye, goodbye to the things we loved and the innocence of youth. Now the time seems to fly from our carefree lives and the solitude and peace. Well, I think I just had an orgasm, guys. Um, oh my god, like it wasn't, like it wasn't perfect enough, this whole fucking soundtrack. Jesus Christ. Holy shit. What was that?
<gasps> we all know she can sing, but what the fuck? Oh my god! I seriously might actually be obsessed with Casey Lee Williams. I might get arrested for stalking her at some point in the near future. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding, but uh, I had to get arrested for stalking for someone, right? <laughs> Holy shit. Wow, that had to be the uh, the uh, best thing ever, ever. Just the best thing ever. That's, I, I don't even know. Guys, I'm actually worn out. That soundtrack actually beat me up and spit me out. And this video was long as hell. But uh, yeah, I hope you guys are going to enjoy this, whether I post it on Thursday or Friday. Um, oh, man. Woo! That was fun. I enjoyed that so much. Mirror Mirror Part 2. I mean, okay, nothing beats the acoustic time to say goodbye, but that doesn't really count. So I'm going to say Mirror Mirror Part 2 is my favorite of the eight, not counting that last one. Uh, I'm going to put Cold Number 2, Divide Number 3. That's interchangeable. Could go either way. Um, I don't actually have the rest of the list there, but four and five are between the first two songs, When It Falls and I'm the One, um, and then the others are in whatever order, who cares, that's your top five anyways. Four and five interchangeable, two and three interchangeable, but I'm gonna have number one as Mirror Mirror Part Two, and that's not counting the acoustic, time to say goodbye, that's number zero, because it's the best. Anyways, guys... I, I didn't do as much analysis as I originally kind of expected to do, but these songs beat me up regardless. I hope you guys still enjoyed this video, and yay, I mean, it's something different listening to some music with me, and, and some thoughts. I did give a lot of analysis on the song that was one of the worst songs of the entire section, because it wasn't the only song I'd never heard in any shape, even partially or entirely, so I was able to theorize about it, and it had interesting implications, and like I said, my theory about how Ren's supposed to be the one singing there, yeah, I think it's pretty interesting. So anyways, <laughs> Flame and Shark, sign now. Hope you guys have a wonderful, fantastical day, and I will see you next time with another video. Thanks for watching. Peace.